I'm Eileen Wood, and this is today's episode of Bag Lunch. Here's a copy of Women's Day magazine from September of 1962. And these were the things that concerned women back then. Back to school clothes, church fair, 25 beauty questions, children's rooms, pies, 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 and look, needlepoint handbags. These were designed exclusively for Women's Day magazine. And what you could do is, here are some examples of bags that you could stitch at home based upon their exclusive designs. And if you look further into the book, I'm not gonna find the page, but there is a page that has the instructions for each of these bags and information as to where one could send the bag off to be finished. And here, in fact, is one of the bags from the magazine. So this shows how women were so interested in a mass way of creating these handbags that a popular magazine like Women's Day went out and commissioned designs for their readers. These are an example of a petty point front and back of a little evening purse that was created. And here clearly the woman stitched the design in its entirety and it's all ready to be mounted onto a frame. So she could either do that by herself or send it off to be completed. And there were many companies at that time that would finish off handbags. Today, I believe there's only one, and that's a company called Art Bag, which is on Madison Avenue in New York. And they did a number of the finished handbags I've shown you, but they still will offer that service today. Here are examples of needlepoint canvases. And a lady would go to her local craft store, which was often a needlework or yarn store, and she would select a design much like this one. Now this design was very popular in the early 1950s during the year of Queen Elizabeth's coronation. And this was a commemorative bag which had her crown and which had some of her medals and awards. And I have a number of examples of this bag finished in several different sizes and designs and colors but here's the canvas. And at the time, it came from a company called Dritz Yarn. And if we turn it over, the canvas cost $9. This is another example of a canvas for a bag where I've got this bag in a couple of different colors within my collection. Now, if you look at this canvas, you will also see that they have a tracing as to the size of the bag. But some women would riff off of this and create a different shape bag just by changing the outside parameters. And this is a strip that wrapped around the bottom and sides of the bag to give it dimension. And once again, if we look at this, this came from a store and the original price was 12 71, but it was marked down to nine and eventually marked down to five. So perhaps not a very popular pattern. People weren't feeling the Roman look. Here is yet a third one. This one from a company called Paragon. And this is another design that I have examples of in my collection. And I especially love the back of this design with the two cherubs because there is a cherub with the nymph upon the front, but just two little cherubs, almost like Cupid, on the back. And this just had a plain strip that round about. And no pricing on this one. This is a much more contemporary design. I actually purchased this to work it myself. And the way that this design works is once it was complete, you would have this wrap around like a flap. So it's as if the hand was holding the bag shut. Here's an example of two different kits that coordinate. 
And this one is an evening bag. And here's a pair of slippers that you could make to wear as shoes. And here is a bag that is once again in the pattern shown on both of them. So here's a finished bag. And if you, if you were to create your own needlepoint at home and want to finish it yourself, the craft store would sell frames much like this one so that you could finish your own bag without having to send it off. And as you see, they offered frames in lots of different sizes. Now, finally today, this is not actually a needlepoint bag, but what I'm showing you here is that women were very into do-it-yourself and making things at home and personalizing them. So here is a kit for a wooden handbag that you could paint and decorate any way you chose, but it has all the materials within here to create a wooden handbag like the one on the cover. So once again, thank you for joining us for today's bag lunch. We look forward to seeing you next time.